My name is Cece Anderson. I'm a makeup artist and beauty historian. Thanks for joining me for part two of Frida Kahlo's beauty history. Despite not fitting the beauty standards of her time, she owned and exuded an alluring and androgynous mystique. She embraced her monobrow and accentuated it with pencil, all the while adding feminine touches such as flowers in her hair and brightly colored rouge and lipstick. Her work was deeply personal and visceral. She paid close attention to capturing her face in a series of now famous self-portraits. This helped evolve the notion of what is beautiful. Frida was also careful with her public image and a master marketeer. She used her Tijuana look strategically, both to express her heritage as well as cover up her physical injuries. Frida's signature brows were such a defining feature that makeup artist Judy Chin had brows made by hand on lace for the film starring Selma Hayek. Despite her controversial politics and criticism of the American bourgeoisie, today her image is still used to sell just about anything, including this makeup collection that was sold at Ulta. She fought for workers' rights, labor unions, and an anti-imperialist ideology. 